change. Congratulations. A, uh, a justification for the positive uh, way that you've had your side playing all season. You saw it in the ACL. We've seen it here tonight when uh, you could have just come and, and taken it easy with the lead, particularly off the back of the trip to Korea. Uh, yet again, you've shown what the club's all about. Yeah, look, I think it's really important. I mean, there's been a lot of emphasis on the way we play our football in terms of the, the style, but... You know, part of it is just having that positive attitude. And, and, and like I said, it's easy for me to say, but I'm throwing the players out there. And there was never any thought of us sitting back, even when we scored and, and got the second. And even at half time, you know, I could tell the boys were feeling it a bit. It's been a tough week for us, but they just keep going forward. They understand that that's the kind of team we want to be. And, and uh, yeah, I couldn't be proud of the players. I think they've been magnificent all year. And, and today was just an enormous effort and a real um, vindication of. Uh, you know, the group of players that I've, I've put together because it's not just their ability, but it's their mentality as well. Is there a temptation maybe after the exertions in career, especially going a man down to, to maybe rotate the squad uh, uh, heavily tonight? It just would have gone, yeah, there was, but it just would have gone against everything I've been telling them for two years. And I think, you know, as a coach, you've got to be consistent in your messaging and, and, and you've got to have real belief in what we do. And I think the players would be disappointed in me if at any stage it looked like I was, you know, we weren't going to push for, for winning games of football and trying to be positive in everything we do. So... You know, we've been, like I said, we've been consistent in that, and and, and this year in particular, we'll, you know, we've been really challenged this year in many ways. Uh, last year we were kind of riding a bit of momentum. Um, we've been challenged, and, and when you get challenged, it's, it's those kind of things that uh, can put doubts in your head. But the players never never had any doubts. With that approach, sometimes comes a good fortune as well. A, a set piece uh, early on, uh, some suggestion that Mitch Nichols was uh, perhaps offside in that uh, one 0 up, and the ties as good as ever. Oh yeah, I mean, look, you know, people, uh, look, I don't. Think, I don't get too much emphasis on, on, on refereeing decisions. I know people say it's easy for me to say because we've won, but, you know, we won last week and, you know, I thought George Shrove was probably lucky to stay in the park after giving away a penalty in the first couple of minutes and we missed the penalty, so we got no reward. But if you start focusing on that, I think anyone that looks at the two legs, we've won both games, we scored five goals. I think that's a fair indication that we deserve to be in the grand final. Does it give you a real uh, mental uh, edge over the Mariners now? I mean, you've been so dominant in the head-to-head -head ties over the past two or three seasons against the club. Uh, grand final back in Brisbane. Uh, again, you must uh, go in uh, pretty confident. Of course, the ACL drawers have been kind to you as well, uh, with you being at home in the Mariners, if indeed they are your opponents, uh, having the long haul on the Wednesday as well. Well, the ACL all draws and kind of us this week. Yeah, so um, it kind of all evens out in the end. Oh, look, whether it's a Mariners or Perth, I think the key thing for us is that we'll take that mentality into it. You know, the players are just, they enjoy this occasion, they enjoy the stage. Look, it's, it's not an easy thing getting to a grand final. I mean, this will be my sixth as a player and coach, and, and it's over a fair bit of time. So I understand how difficult it is to get to that point. And there's a lot of coaches and a lot of players who have tried hard to get there and we're there. And I think you've got to enjoy the moment. We'll... we'll you know, we haven't got a game for nine days, which is a bit of a luxury for us. So we'll, we'll, we'll enjoy it first, make sure the players recover. And then we are, we're, we're not treating one any more important than the other. And the ACL game is first, and that'll be our focus first. But, you know, come to the grand final, whether it's the Mariners or Perth, like I said, our intention will be to go out there, play our football, score goals, and, and be entertaining and also um, hopefully successful. Hopefully after they've been through 120 minutes uh, next week. Oh, look, no, you know, I think, again... Our philosophy is we want to meet the best team at their best. That's what you want. You know, you don't. You know, championships aren't given away. They're, they're earned and they're won. And, and I hope whoever we play is, is absolutely flying on the day and playing at their best and challenges us. And, and if we win, we, we deserve to win. Just before we let you go, uh, your thoughts on the new Western Sydney team? Uh, I think most people agree that it's a positive for the game. The timing is it is it adequate? You would have preferred a bit longer, or, or can they hit the ground running? Probably should have happened two years ago. I think that's where the timing got wrong. Um, there's no doubt that, that you know we should have had two teams in Sydney before we went anywhere else. Uh, I guess better late than never. Look, at, at the end of the day, whether we've got time or not, we've got to be positive behind it. Um, you know, there's no point. Um, you know, there's going to be difficulties building a team from scratch as it is. But I just think the whole football community has got to get behind it. We need it to succeed. Even as an opposition coach, I want them to be successful. We need them to be successful. There's no point, you know, having teams in the league that that you know aren't going to be pulling crowds or uh, or aren't going to be contributing something. So I want them to succeed. And I think every club in the in the country that that's existing at the moment has a duty to see that through and, and to actually help them succeed. That's what other codes do in this country. You know, they don't uh, isolate uh, um, teams to, to fend for their own. And, and I think if we have that attitude as a football community, uh, it'll work. It should work.
your name has been uh, linked quite heavily with the Melbourne Victory job. Maybe they'll be giving you a call for the Western Sydney team. What's what's the uh, the truth in the Ange Postecoglou situation for next year? The truth is that Ange Postecoglou will be coaching uh, his fourth grand final in two weeks' time, and that's uh, that's always how I've coached. I've always done my job uh, as best I can, and uh, whatever happens in the future, there's uh, no guarantees about anything in life. Um, you know, I, I've obviously been linked to a few jobs. Uh, there could be a couple uh, more that uh, are available overseas. So who knows, mate? Good luck with the, uh, the ACL underground. Thanks, mate. Good night.